Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Would you love to be able to use Docker or Kubernetes within your Windows subsystem for Linux? Well, let me show you how to do it. Um, and it makes it fantastic for testing Kubernetes and Docker locally without having to do it, uh, like spin up a GCP Kubernetes cluster or anything like that. Um, it makes a fantastic local development um, environment. So let me just show you how to set this up. So what you wanna do is you want to go to the Docker website. Uh, so this here will allow you to download Docker Desktop for Windows. Now this is fantastic because if you've already followed the last video where I showed you how to set up your Linux subsystem for Windows, um, if you haven't actually, uh, make sure to watch that first so you're all set up. Um, so yeah, if you have that all set up, you can follow along um, and yeah, you can get Docker and Kubernetes set up. So make sure you download this and then once Docker Desktop for Windows is downloaded, so you just click here, and then you will install it. Now, once that's installed, make sure to run it. Uh, I've just, well, I've already got it installed, so let me just show you. Um, once you've got it set up, it will look something like this. So once you're here, click on the settings, and then on, in the settings here, what you wanna do is click onto resources, and then under WSL integration, click here. And this is how we can say, I want Docker to work with my WSL um, right out of the box. You know, no configuration. You don't have to go into your Linux box, install Docker or anything like that. It's this easy. You click here and you can straight away put it onto the distro of your choice. So I want to put it on my Ubuntu box, click here and hit apply and restart. Now watch this. All we have to do is just let it do its restart. I click here and watch this Docker container um and i was a now i don't have any docker containers running but look i now have docker now what about kubernetes uh i want to play around with kubernetes um i don't have the really the resources or anything to do it. i just want a local de uh, testing environment well it's this easy let me show you you come down to kubernetes you click on enable kubernetes hit apply and restart install and now we just wait for Kubernetes to be uh, installed and for it to start. You can track the status down here. You can see where my mouse pointer is, Docker, um, and then it says Kubernetes and it's currently starting. So let's just wait for that to turn green. Oh, it's turned green. And now watch this. We just do kubectl get nodes. So a node is pretty much the, um, the computer server whatever you want to call it, that's running Kubernetes that we will use to deploy our pods. If you're not familiar with Kubernetes, that's okay. This is just for demonstrations. But I want to show you, as soon as I hit enter, bam, you can see that I have a node and it's called Docker Desktop and it's ready to start deploying Kubernetes. Now, let me show you some deployments just to prove to you that it is working. So I would do a deployment in Docker and then I'll also do a deployment in Kubernetes. So one second and I'll get that set up. Right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run a simple command. So this is docker run, um, and I'm going to run a Nginx web server on port 80. And as soon as I hit enter, it doesn't have the Nginx uh, image locally, that's fine, it's gonna pull it down. It's just going to install everything for us. Now if this does come up, just hit allow access. Just adding a firewall rule. And bam, we have, that running. So now let's just confirm that we have that indeed running. So let's do container, docker container, and it's going to list all my containers. Cool. So what we can see here is that we have an Nginx uh, web server running and it is running on port 8080. So now let's confirm uh, that this is actually running. So what we want to do is start up a new tab and just do 127. Um, and I've already got it here, so that's good. And I'm gonna hit enter. And look at that, we have an Nginx server running. Now what about Kubernetes? How do we get Kubernetes running and prove that that works? Well, let me clean up the Docker uh, instance that I have running and then I will get the uh, Kubernetes set up as well. So let me just quickly get that started. Now, what about Kubernetes? I'm gonna show you as well that, uh, that Kubernetes is running as well just by using that Docker and that little simple tick box. So I'm just gonna do a quick simple deployment here uh, that I've just grabbed off the Kubernetes website. I'm gonna hit enter. 
a deployment has now been created. Let's just do a kubectl get pods. Bam. We have a deployment in Kubernetes locally as well for us to test. So I hope that helped you with understanding how you can go about getting Docker and Kubernetes set up locally for testing um, and just for a learning sandbox as well. So um, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.